Hi everyone. Are you struggling with a keyboard that's typing the wrong letters or characters? In this video, I'll show you how to fix this common keyboard issue with a comprehensive guide. Whether you're using a laptop with a built-in keyboard or a desktop with an external one, these solutions will work for you. I'll walk you through 20 troubleshooting methods, divided into 5 categories, to fix problems like keyboard misconfigurations or hardware glitches. We'll start with simple fixes and gradually move into advanced troubleshooting. Stay tuned to learn how to resolve keyboard errors quickly and easily. Let's get started with resolving keyboard configuration errors. The first thing you have to check is the active language of your keyboard. If the active keyboard language is incorrect, change it to the correct one if available. Otherwise, install the correct language by clicking on more keyboard settings. Click on the three dots next to installed language and select language options. Click on add a keyboard and then select the desired keyboard language from the list to enable it. This step doesn't require an internet connection. But if the desired language is not available on this list, you have to connect to the internet and then download the whole pack of the preferred language. You have to select a compatible keyboard based on the key distribution of your physical keyboard, as the key distribution varies from PC to PC based on the market. For example, on a United States keyboard, the at symbol is located above the two key, while on a British keyboard, it is located above the apostrophe key. There can also be differences in key distribution within the same language, depending on the selected keyboard layout. For example, the distribution of letters and symbols in the QWERTY layout is completely different from the Dvorak layout in English US. If you are unsure which keyboard language is suitable for you, enable the on-screen keyboard and choose the new keyboard language. If the key distribution on your physical keyboard matches that of the on-screen keyboard, then the active keyboard is the correct one for you. The second simple tweaks that have to change are the filters and autocorrect options. Right-click on Start icon and select Settings option. Click Accessibility and then click Keyboard option. Disable Sticky and Filter keys if enabled. Open Typing option and disable autocorrect or multilingual text suggestions if enabled. If your problem is related to repeated character or number typing, you have to change keyboard typing speed as followings. Press Windows plus R keys to open Run tool. Type Control Panel and press Enter. Type Keyboard in Search Box and open Keyboard. Decrease Repeat Delay and Repeat Rate if your issue is related to repeated characters typing. This part covers common keyboard driver issues like wrong driver, compatibility, software interference, and malware, along with solutions to resolve them. Right-click on Start icon and open Device Manager. Right-click on the standard PS-2 keyboard and select Uninstall Device option. Allow restarting the computer to finish removing the driver. Windows will reinstall the suitable driver automatically after restarting. If you have another keyboard next to standard PS2 keyboard, uninstall its driver too and then restart your computer. You can also try to update driver by selecting search for updated drivers on Windows updates. You can troubleshoot compatibility issues as followings. Open settings and search for troubleshoot other problems. Scroll down to Keyboard option. Click on Run option next to Keyboard to search for keyboard issues and fix it automatically. If the keyboard issue appeared after installing new software, uninstall the new software and then check your keyboard. If you are using a background keyboard or language application, try to disable it to see if the issue is due to it. If you suspect your computer is infected with a virus or malware, you should perform a full system scan using Windows security or a third-party antivirus app. Make sure to use an app that supports offline or safe mode scanning, as some viruses can interfere with the antivirus function when running in normal or online mode. Also, you can try to boot into safe mode by restarting Windows while pressing and holding the shift key down. If the typing issue disappeared in safe mode, then you have a software, viral, or system-related issue that caused the wrong typing. On this part, you will learn how to troubleshoot the hardware issues, such as sticky or dusty keys, improper USB connection, damaged keyboard, or dead batteries. Check your keyboard keys to see if there is a sticky or pressed key. If you have a keyboard with outside numeric keypad and the keyboard is typing numbers instead of letters, make sure the number lock is not enabled or sticky. To check the functionality of number lock key, do the followings. Press Windows plus R keys from keyboard to open Run tool. Type OSK and press Enter to open on-screen keyboard. Click on Options and then check Turn on Numeric Keyboard. 
Click OK and then test number lock and other keys. This will help you to know if any key is sticky or corrupted, or if there are two keys pressed together. Inspect if there are dust particles or debris below the keys. You can use a cotton swap or compressed air duster to remove any dust or debris. If there is fluid trace, turn off the computer or disconnect the keyboard and try to clean and dry it. Don't use the keyboard or turn on the computer until you remove all fluid residue. If you have an external keyboard, make sure it is connected properly and firmly, as the loose connection can lead to wrong typing issue. Also check that both keyboard wire and USB port are intact. You can try another USB port and then test the keyboard typing. If you are using a USB hub or extension, try to connect the keyboard directly without the hub or the extension. Inspect the keyboard for any visible physical damage. If you have an external keyboard, try to test it in another computer to exclude hard corruption. If it works in another computer without error, then the issue is in your computer. Also you can borrow your friend keyboard to test it on your desktop or laptop computer. If there is no problem in typing, then your keyboard is corrupted. If the typing issue not fixed, then the source of problem is in your computer, which could be a system issue, corrupted USB port, wrong keyboard configuration, electric conflicts, or other problem. If you have a wireless keyboard, make sure the battery is not corrupted or running out of charge, or try to replace the battery. If there is an external wired or wireless device connected to your computer, disconnect it and test the keyboard typing. Also check for conflicts from other nearby wireless devices. The part number 4 covers troubleshooting keyboard errors related to system issues, such as, enabled fast startup, corrupted system files, and outdated system. Some users reported that the wrong typing issues resulted from enabling fast startup option. To disable fast startup, do the followings. Press Windows plus R keys from keyboard to open run tool. Type power cfg.cpl and press enter to open power options. Click on choose what the power buttons do option from left panel and then click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Disable fast startup option and then save changes. Restart your computer and then test your keyboard typing. Corrupted system files can lead to keyboard typing errors. To repair your system, download VMTech's keyboard issues fixer.bat tool from the links in video description and then run it as administrator. Type 1 and press enter to use DISM tool or type 2 to use SFC tool. To use both DISM and SFC tools, type 4 and press enter. This free tool will check the integrity of your system and then repair the corrupted files automatically. If the tool found corrupted files but failed to repair them, try to mount a compatible ISO file of Windows and then run the tool again. For more details, refer to video description. Make sure to install all Windows quality and features updates, and that you have restarted your computer to allow completing installation process, as the outdate system can cause keyboard issues. If the Windows update didn't work properly, you can fix it by running the VMTech's keyboard issues fixer.bat and then select repair Windows update by typing 3 into CMD console and hitting enter. If your system is corrupted to a point that can't be repaired using repairing tools, you have to perform a Windows upgrade to repair the system files. But before showing that, let's see how to create a new administrator user account to check if the keyboard issue is related to the corrupted system files in your account. Double click the VMTech's create admin account.bat file. Type 1 and press enter to create new account. Type a name for the new user account and hit enter. Type new password if you want, otherwise, press enter to create new account without password. Sign out from your current account and then sign in using new account. After signing in into the new account, try keyboard typing and if the issue didn't fix, then sign into your old account and remove the new account as follows. Open the VMTech's create admin account.bat file. Type 2 and press enter to remove the new account. Copy the name of the new account and paste it, and then press enter to remove it. To do a repair upgrade, you have to download the recent ISO file of Windows 10 or Windows 11 from the links in video description. You should select the correct language and correct architecture that is applicable to installed Windows in your computer, to avoid losing installed apps and settings. Double click the ISO file to mount it. Run the setup file to start upgrade wizard. Enable or disable downloading updates and click next. Accept Microsoft notices license terms.
If the Keep Personal Files in Apps options is not enabled for you, this mean the language in or the edition of the ISO file is not identical to installed Windows in your computer. Click on Install to start upgrading process. Refer to video description to watch another video with more details about Windows upgrade. The fifth troubleshooting group include other suggestions such as, using manufacturer's diagnostic tool, updating BIOS firmware and fixing electricity issues. Each computer brand has its specific diagnostic tool pre-installed on its devices or available for download from the company's official website. If the diagnostic tool is not installed on your computer, you can download it from your computer brand's official website. Run the tool and scan the keyboard to check for any hardware issues or software incompatibilities. Old BIOS firmware can cause several issues including wrong keyboard typing or another problem. To upgrade your BIOS, use your computer model or service tag number to search for the applicable BIOS firmware update in manufacturer website of your computer. But you should know that installing wrong BIOS firmware can break your computer. So refer to video description for more details about how to update your BIOS correctly. If the electric from the wall socket outlet or the uninterruptible power supply unit is not stable, a wrong keyboard typing or another performance issue can occur. So try to connect the computer to another power outlet or another wall socket, but if the electricity is unstable from the source, then try to use a new uninterruptible power supply and then check your keyboard typing. If you're using a laptop, start by disconnecting the charger. If the keyboard error resolves, then the error is related to electricity issue. In that case, try plugging into a different outlet or use another charger with the same voltage. If the problem persists, consider using a reliable uninterruptible power supply to ensure a stable power flow. Still not fixed, then you'll need to open your computer and inspect the power supply unit and internal power wires. Ensure they are intact, properly connected, dry, dust-free, and not touching the motherboard or other components. While the power supply unit and wires might seem unlikely to cause keyboard issues, their role has been confirmed in causing problems with both laptops and desktop computers. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.